Hello again, this is Dave Briner from Synergist Technologies. Today I'd like to take a look at a few uh, Fusion 360 tips and tricks. Uh, I like to present these from time to time. Uh, some of these I have done in my uh, in some past uh, videos. Uh, others are new, but some of these I think are maybe just too important to let, let slide, so I'll, I'll bring them up again. Um, so let's get started. All right, uh, the first one, um, I use a, um, a 3D mouse to uh, move my part or assembly uh, all over the place. So uh, one of the things that you know we all done is where maybe it slipped out of the window and we don't know where it is. Uh, one way to get it back real quick is if you have a, a three button windows mouse, uh, just double click the middle button and it'll slide it right back into um, into view and uh, it's not necessarily uh, a home key because it's it, it keeps its rotation so uh, just double click now it's yes it's just as easy maybe to come up here in the top right by the uh, by the cube and hit the home button and slide it right back uh, just another one of those options so uh, double mouse click the middle button on your Windows mouse and you can uh, find your work okay uh, another one uh, again uh, best practices uh, a lot of us use good practices bad practices someplace in the middle uh, one of these are going to be maybe a best practice a good practice and uh, I do this as much as I can uh, as often as I can but and that's where I create my components right up front so to do that uh, you're just going to come up to the top uh, component you're going to right click and say new component and then do a slow left click on the name and you can rename it I'll put a space in there <clears throat> All right, and I can just continue to create the components and I typically do this uh, up front I know often um, how many components I'm going to be working with or uh, what it might be so I'll make a third one and I'll slow left click on the name and then rename it All right. and um, that way then when I'm ready to work I can just activate the part that I want to uh, build and and build onto it but uh, just say you know we've all done it uh, I've only I've done it maybe only um, 100 or 150 times where you kind of get carried away and you're ready to start working uh, you're planned it so you just start uh, you just start sketching and drawing and uh, you create your geometry all right. and then um, you know I'm just gonna come in here and all right so um, I've got my uh, my first body and and then I finally look over and I forgot to select where it was going to go it's supposed to be part of block one and I forgot so don't worry that you can get around this uh, I'm just gonna come up under now my assembly if you want to call it that your main component here's my bodies and sketches that are new and I can left click and hold and drag that body and its accompanying sketch down into the component that I previously created and you'll see right there they are all right so um, not the end of the world uh, this is a nice thing and um, I'm glad they it's there because I use it often because a lot of times I forget uh, to select the component I'm supposed to be working on and then it just uh, places it someplace else all right uh, let's see how about um, I'm going to create another part and let me uh, I'm going to start a sketch and I'm going to start a line command. So um, if I just start clicking and I, you know, I start drawing my geometry and I want to end, uh, if I double left click, what it does, it ends the line, but it keeps me inside the line command. Now this is this is really nice if you're going to end up creating different uh, types of geometry lines or something like that. Now, uh, so and I'll I'll click and double left click, and I'm out of the command, but I'm still in a line command. 
Now, the other thing is, if I want to uh, create something, I'm, you know, I start a line command again, I'm in it, but you can see that all my inferred connections are on. It's kind of driving me a little crazy. I got lines. All I need to do is hold the control key. So here's another tip. And it suspends my inferred uh, alignment or any kind of intersection. All right, so I can then just place, I can take my finger off the control key and you'll see that everything is back. All right, my all my inferred alignments and intersections are there. All right. Now, the other thing is I'm in the line command. Uh, a nice way to also get out of everything and let's not forget is hit the escape key. The escape key will end any kind of command you're in. Um, I think most of us probably already know that, but uh, it's a nice thing uh, to double check. And the other thing is I'm going to create a circle. You're going to see that I'm still in the circle command. It's going to allow me to place another one. Um, another way other than hitting the escape is right click and say cancel. All right, I'm still in the sketch, um, but I'm out of all my commands. So you may um, you may be watching me work here, and you're going to see that I'm not going up to the toolbar to select my commands. Um, I've done this in a um, in a previous video, and it is by far probably my most favorite command. And it's that's my S key. All right, now they've named this uh, used to be uh, toolbox. Now it's uh, shortcuts, but I use this all the time and I use it to the point again like I said I forget where uh, some of my commands are uh, under what pull down so uh, I just use my S key and on there are all of my uh, heavily used commands the ones I use most often let's face it we all work in a particular manner uh, these are the commands that I use over and over again and um, you'll see like for an example here's my uh, offset command all right so in order to find that I mean all I need to do is start typing and we'll say offset although I have it I'm gonna say uh, O F and just start spelling it and you're gonna see it's gonna come up with a bunch of uh, suggestions and you're gonna see there's offset face all right and there's an offset for uh, surface but here's my line offset and you're gonna see I have an X well the X tells me it's already up there I can hit the X and remove it but now if I go back, you're going to see there's a little up arrow, and that's how I add commands. I'm just going to click that. It adds that command to my toolbox, and uh, I can continue to use it. Now, uh, the other nice thing about this is um, it's contextual. So all of my, uh, my sketch commands are here right now. A lot of things I'm going to use in this sketch environment. But if I finish the sketch and I hit my S key, you're going to see all of my other commands come up. All right, my uh, my extrude, uh, fillets, revolves, loft, sweep. So it's contextual. Everything here is uh, used for you know building my model. And uh, again, I can add a lot of things to this also. But it's uh, it's that way for almost every environment. When you uh, press the S key, it'll be contextual depending on the environment you're in. So uh, if you don't use it yet, certainly give it a try. And it's, uh, again, I, I, I use it all the time. I'm just kind of addicted to it. Uh, the other one, uh, a couple other S keys are, um, you know, if I go through, yes, I can come up here and uh, save all the time. And you'll see on um, the pull down right there, Control S. So if I hit Control S, it'll do a save. Um, but it's also going to do a version. So you're going to see over here in this one, and this was probably before I learned about this other command, uh, I've got 27 versions. I certainly don't need 27 versions. It's just that uh, my old days in Inventor and this, I kind of got in that habit of save often. So every time I save, it added a version. Um, to get around that, other than Control Save, Control S will create a version. It'll save and create a version. Control Shift S will save but it will not create a version so that's a nice one to remember all the time 
Control Shift S. It will save your work, but not create a new version. And that's a big help. So uh, try to remember those two, Control S and Control Shift S. Uh, use them as you like. All right, and that's it. Uh, just a handful of them. I'll try to bring these uh, from time to time, as I mentioned. So if you have comments, uh, place them down below. Um, I'll uh, come up with a handful more in the near future, and I'll present those. So um, good luck. I hope you enjoyed this. Again, my name is Dave Reiner, Synergist Technologies. Have yourself a great day.